What is up, broskies? Slogs here, giving you another tutorial in Project Reality. This is uh, another basics tutorial, but it's less basics than the first basics tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you uh, the basics of kits and uh, and the squad system. So, uh, first of all, we need to join a server. Now, you can go to Cooperative and join Internet, and then you have a choice of these, but I prefer to go to deployment, join internet, uh, and head on down to the Merc Hellion Jet Training Server. There are some people on it, but it doesn't really bother me that much. So we're going to jump in here and get down to business. Right, so when you join a server, you'll see this. This is the loading screen. I know, it's very exciting. You've just joined your first server. Now, the few things you want to look at. Thing number one is the map. This is what the map looks like. You might want to familiarize yourself familiarize yourself with the map layout. Or maybe at least picture this with the words so you know what map's coming up. And then you've got the size, four kilometers, that's the biggest map. You can have uh, two kilometer maps and one kilometer maps. Uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, and here shows you all the vehicles that you can have for each team. So this one is a trans truck or logi truck. This is uh, like a Humvee or a trans Humvee, something like that. Then you've got APCs, tanks, AA vehicles, uh, little attack choppers like um, Kiowas, uh, trans choppers, so for the US it's the Black Hawk, and then jets. This one is uh, bigger attack choppers like the Apache, and then this is the support powers your commander has. So this is an area attack so if someone calls an area attack then it drops uh, drops like mortars or more like artillery shells and this which is the one that the US have is a JDAM so you know bigger explosion it's better uh, and this is how many tickets each team has so 650 right we join the server okay so we've joined the server and the first thing you see is that well, what squad do you join? What kid do you pick? I know, it's complicated. Now there are two things you can do. If you're a noob, this is what you don't do. You don't create a squad like that, because that's stupid. What you do, is you join a squad. Now our friend Oracle here has already made one, but he's locked it like a bitch. So what you do is you wait for him to unlock it, or wait for him to invite you. You punk, invite me. Oh, he unlocked it. Well, that's fair enough. Right, so you've joined a squad. <laughs> Now he's in a chopper for some reason, he's misnamed his squad and confused everyone, so just ignore him. So you've got a load of kits to choose from when you spawn, you can request kits when you spawn, but uh, when you start off in the game you're going to want to pick the rifleman kit. You have two rifleman kits to choose from, this one has an ACOG, this one has a red dot, that's the same for, for all factions, so uh, they'll all have some variation on scopes for both the riflemen, so I usually pick the ACOG because it's better. Right now you're spawned. And the first thing you notice is there are so many things to choose from and so many places to go. Caps lock is to open your map by the way. You can also use M to open your map but caps lock is easier to press. So let's uh, let's walk away from Oracle so he doesn't distract us. Oracle, get over here, we need to do some testing. You need to be an infantryman and not crash into that. <laughs> Good, thank you. Okay, for the purposes of this demonstration I'll be using a variety of weapons on our on our test subject here, Oracle. <laughs> <coughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so the, f the first, as you can see, use the scroll to scroll through your uh, all the equipment you've got. You can also use the numbers. The numbers will select everything instantly for you. So, the first thing all kits have is a knife or some variation on the knife. So a knife or a strainer or punchy fist, something like that. The knife is a one-hit kill. Ah. Are you dead dead, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, so you, most you, of the you, time... You chop my juggler. Yeah. So most of the time, if you stab a guy, he goes dead, dead. If you stab him in the back, he's definitely dead, dead. And I think if you stab him in the face, he's also definitely dead, dead. But sometimes they just get wounded and can be revived. 
and later I'll show you what revive dead dead and and wounded actually means. Or get the fuck back here. <laughs> I'm fat, hold on. So the next thing you have is the entrenching tool, also known as a shovel. You use the shovel to dig things. So if a squad leader makes an emplacement like uh, a fob, a forward outpost based, bad place, a uh, a HMG or a tow or something like that, you use the shovel to dig it. Oh, Oracle's come back with a big gun. The next thing you have is your primary weapon. It has two fire modes, single fire or burst fire for this one, but it's usually single fire and full auto. In the bottom right you can see how many mags you've got and you can see what fire mode you're in. So one is single fire, three is burst fire. And if it was full auto, A would be uh, full auto. You press three to change your fire mode once the weapon is out. Uh, single fire is pretty accurate, uh, which is what we'll be using to headshot this son of a bitch. Next thing we've got for the rifleman kit, and this is where it gets uh, varied, is the ammo bag. The ammo bag isn't unlimited and it doesn't really resupply you that well. It's usually best served for uh, giving, say, a medic more epipens, which is what you use to revive people, or uh, a rifleman or someone else more mags for their gun. Holy shit. God. <laughs> oh, is he gonna make it? Oh. Tried to duck. I would have made it if there wasn't a, a ten pound bomb <laughs> strapped to the side of his chair. Ammo bags is best for resupplying people for individual mags. It doesn't do that well when it comes to resupplying lots of people, so it's best just giving it to one person instead of many. Uh, oh, you bring the medic. The next thing is the grenade. Most kits have this except medic and sniper and someone else. Uh, AR doesn't have a grenade, but most kits have a grenade. So what you do is you just right click to drop it on your feet or left click to throw it far. As you can see, the splash radius is kind of big. <laughs> I'm gonna need that medic again. Yeah, so left click obviously you can throw it pretty far, and right click you just drop it at your feet. The next thing you've got in your equipment list is smoke. There are a variation, or a variety, of smoke colours to choose from. The, it works the same as the grenade, so left click to throw far, and right click to throw at your feet. No smoke can't kill people. Sorry, Oracle. Now all kits have binoculars, the squad leader has slightly different binoculars but almost every kit has these standard binoculars. They can zoom in like this and zoom out like this. <laughs> They're very useful. You should always have binoculars, not that you have a choice. And the last thing that most blue 4 kits have is an incendiary grenade. These can now only be thrown at your feet. There was a time when you could throw them far but now you can only throw them at your feet and uh, I think we might be able to kill you with two. These are usually used just for killing caches or uh, or burning uh, emplacements not really for killing people. They can destroy vehicles if you throw enough and they can kill people like that. Dead, dead. And you're dead dead from incendiary to the face. So there you go. <laughs> Mess of <laughs> <laughs> All right, shoot me. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Now because Oracle's a friend, obviously I won't be forgiving him for that. Don't revive me. <laughs> so this is the wounded screen. This is a great screen because you can successfully teabag your enemies when they're wounded. If you're wounded, you can be revived. Oracle, revive me! <laughs> Medics can revive you with EpiPens. <coughs> And then you have this black and white screen when you're revived. As a medic heals you up with his medic bag, then uh, it slowly goes from black and white back up to your normal screen. But you can also use patches to heal yourself up. Uh, you just drop them at your feet. To get a patch, you press number 9 on your numbers. 
to drop a pa to bring out the patch and then just left click to drop at your feet to heal yourself up. Then it will just eat it up. You'll live, buddy. Now get back to the fight. Except I don't need a healing, so it just stays there. Enemies and friendlies can walk on patches. Oh, you already ate it. Wow, from that distance. I was hungry. <laughs> now, once you get revived, you can stay alive. You have to stay alive for a minute and 30 seconds, or two minutes, one of the two, uh, before you get killed again. If you get shot again before that time is up, then you go, dead, dead, shoot me. Hold on. <sighs> Amateurs. <laughs> oh, I went wounded again. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is this is a. It could be, it could be yeah. the server. Oh, yeah, this is a training server, but usually if you die, oh, he's gonna run me over. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm dead. Dead. <laughs> I need a medic. Dead. Dead. Screen. Uh, uh, means you can't get revived. <laughs> so you can never be revived ever when you're dead. Dead. You have to respawn. Respawn. You can hit caps lock and then kit, and then you can choose a spawn point. Uh. Or you can hit enter and it will bring you straight to this screen. Uh, right. I just want to do a little bit on uh, the whole stabilization and stuff of guns. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Look at this fucking tool. Okay. T hang on. Let's just let Oracle do what he has to do. Step back! <laughs> okay, to request kits, you can go to a crate like this and uh, hold T and then left click, and you have a choice of kits. Now, depending on how many people there are in the squads, you uh, can only use certain kits, so these are all limited. And you can only have one of these in each squad. And for example, Sniper, you can only have two on the team. AT, you can only have two on the team. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, Combat Engineer you can have two on the team as well, and I think AA you can only have two on the team. I'm not going to go into too much detail on these now, but obviously you just left click to uh, select them. Alternatively you can right click to select them and sometimes you get a different scope, so if I selected the medic left click and press G to pick up the kit, I get no scope, and if I request it right click, which you can't do because you have to wait until you have a before you can get another limited kit, then I would get it with a red dot sight. But we'll go into the other kits in more detail later. For now, I just want to do a quick thing on deviation and stabilization on these guns. So Oracle, would you come over here and stand still? In fact, go go at the stand over here. So Oracle's all the way over there at this range. A no scope, you'd be lucky to hit him. You probably don't want to go no scope, but just for the purposes of this, I'll probably get a headshot with this no scope. Good, I missed. That proves my point, thank god. <laughs> so instead, you want to aim in and shoot your target, but you don't just do this, because uh, your weapon needs to stabilize. For example, if you're sprinting around like this, and then you just stop and shoot, chances are you're going to miss. Instead, what you want to do is if you see a target, you want to crouch or lie down. So, control to crouch for me and Z to prone for me. Zoom in. You want to wait about maybe two, three seconds if to be safe, and then just shoot him in the face. <laughs> and this tactic actually works at surprisingly large range. And if you zoom in and move around your gun, then it's going to be less accurate. If you zoom in and then you start jumping around and doing 360s and stuff, then, yeah, as you can see, it wasn't even close to where I was aiming. To visualize this, you can get the hat kit. Yes, I actually got one. So, the hat kit, I'm not really going to show you how to use it yet, but as soon as my fat ass can get it out. Get back on that wall, you bitch. <laughs> hey, look, he's back. He's back. Not. Oh, uh, I think he's back with the vengeance. <laughs> 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 okay. So as you can see with the hat kit, you've got these two white bars in the middle of the screen. As you move around, the white bars will 
go further away, when you stand still they go closer together. When you move the kit around like this, they move around and then go closer together. If you crouch, they go closer together as well. So this is how you could visualize any of your any kit that you use, any weapon. Imagine that when you move your weapon, it goes like this. Hang on, let's just kick this guy again. Shall we kick him? Make a kick vote, I can't. <laughs> no, I got rid of him out of the squad anyway. Okay. That's my power as squad leader. <laughs> <laughs> that is your power as squad leader. So, you can move around. So imagine that your weapon, as a primary weapon, for example, the M16, is like this. And every time you move your gun, the splash, the area that it will hit, goes out like these white bars here. And every time you move, they kind of jiggle around and stuff. So you wait for it to get perfect. Dead, dead. <laughs> and then shoot him right in the face with a hack. Took an anti-tank <laughs> rocket to my face. And he's dead dead, so the tea bag is not really worth doing, but seeing as you <laughs> can't see it, but, you know, just for glory, you might as well go for it. Any questions? Let me know.